Welcome to... <laughs> Welcome to church folks in the cafe getting coffee. I'm Pastor Daniel and I'm here with our first uh, with our first celebrity guest, Pastor John Wayne <laughs> McMahon, our newest pastor on staff. We're gonna be doing this interviews in uh, three rounds and so we're gonna do our warm up interview right now. What's your name? My name is John Wayne McMahon. And the question everybody wants to know, How'd you get the name, John Wayne? Uh, my dad, the urban legend is, my dad had a really bad bet in college, probably a late night, uh, <laughs> and uh, that whoever had the first son out of the group of friends that were involved in this late night, they would have to name their son Miriam, because that's John Wayne's real name, and I was the first son out of the group. And when that came around, my mom was like, we, we're not, gonna do that. I think I could have been nicknamed Mary my whole life and things could have turned out differently. That's why my middle name is Emilio Estevez. Yeah. <laughs> a weird bet. Um, <laughs> do you have any nicknames? You go by John, do you go by Wayne, JW, or no. is it John Wayne? No, it's when people find out it's John Wayne, it's John Wayne. Friends and family call me John Wayne. What's funny though is a lot of people, for, I'll serve, I've served a church for years and people will think my last name is Wayne. And so they'll say Pastor Wayne, or they'll I think so did a lot of our communication staff. <laughs> yeah, or Mr. Wayne, or Mr. Mrs. Business Wayne. Cards Lauren done. will get Mrs. Wayne a lot, which is really funny. So, Lil Wayne? <laughs> no, I haven't gotten no, no, not Lil very Wayne. little. <laughs> um, so you're married to Lauren? How long? Married to Lauren for eight years. Where'd y'all meet? We met in Bryan. We're both from Bryan. Uh, but we met serving a youth group in Bryan for a while. And we know you got your hands full, three kids. Three kids, four, almost three, and a month. What were you thinking? I don't know. Yeah. We thought, let's just, let's get this over with. Jim, Ga <laughs> Jim Gaffigan, the comedian, says, "What you know what it's like having five kids? It's like having four kids and being drowning and someone throws you a baby. <laughs> yeah, I remember so that Three bit. kids is a lot. Yeah. What's your favorite hot drink? Uh, probably coffee. Coffee, any yep. particular brew or blend? No, I'm a black. I'm a black coffee, dark coffee, dark roast. Cold drink. Cold drink, unsweet iced tea. Unsweet iced tea. Do you put any sweetener in None it? None at all. all. Okay. I used to. I used to love sweet tea until I worked in a restaurant and I made sweet tea. And once you make it, you see what goes into it. <laughs> all right. So either FM, XM, uh, Pandora, Spotify, iTunes Music. What? is your genre of music that you listen to the most? Uh, I listen to, um, I listen to a lot of worship music. I listen to- What a churchy answer. I know, I know. It's good. But not like churchy worship music. I like kind of like indie uh, Christian artists. Oh, so like cool churchy Yeah, yeah, music. yeah, like coffee shop stuff. All right, yeah. what's the last movie you saw? Last movie? In the theater. Uh, Top Gun. Thumbs and, up, thumbs down. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Best movie I've seen. It was incredible. In forever. You were part of the reason why we we're like, we haven't seen a movie in years. So let's I'm pretty it a good shot. for a movie recommendation. Yeah. What's your uh, What's the last TV show you binged? Uh, Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Yeah. We just finished that last night. Yes. What's your favorite book besides the Bible? Uh, besides the Bible, this is another churchy answer. Probably Mere Christianity. Yeah. It's read great. It, read it all the time. It's awesome. Yeah. If you haven't read it. Perfect yeah. book. It's a great book to introduce people to faith as well. Yes. What do you do to recharge? Uh, golf when I can. It's hard to. It's right pretty now. good. We've played. <laughs> yeah. Golf and then reading and You're exercise. You're not supposed to beat your boss. Um, <laughs> I didn't get that memo. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Uh, farthest you've ever traveled? Uh, to Germany. Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the what? What you soccer go there for? trip? I played college soccer and we we had a preseason trip and toured and played. You go to Munich. Yeah, we went to Munich. We stayed for a couple World Cup games. Fest. Didn't do Oktoberfest. Yeah. That was my grandpa's favorite thing. He yeah. liked to do that a lot. Germany's awesome. Uh, what, if you could only eat one type of food, what would it be? Uh, Mexican food. What's your favorite restaurant in town so far? Um, La Hacienda de Mis Padres. We go there every week. Yeah, prob it probably is my favorite right now. Uh, I like McKenzie's barbecue too. Yeah, McKenzie's is great. They had it up in Huntsville as well. Uh, if you had to have a meal with three people, living or dead, oh, who would join you at the table? Goodness. Um, how Let's just assume Jesus is there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he? he's always with us, Daniel. He is with us. Uh, um, living or dead, this one's hard for me. Um, 
I'm putting pressure on you. Rapid fire. Yes or no? Uh, let's see. Um, if they're dead, they won't feel disappointed. Uh, let's go super churchy answer. I would love to sit down with N.T. Wright. I'm a biblical studies guy. and You'd probably make that happen. He has a great uh, voice anyway, so it'd just be cool to hear him talk about stuff. Billy Abraham was that for me too. Hearing him talk was amazing. He recently passed away. Yeah. Um, and then Michael Jordan. I was a cool. big Michael Jordan fan growing up. Um, he's kind of like a just impressive human being. Um, Go the GOAT, greatest of all time? Yeah, greatest of all time. And then, I don't know a third. I'll have to think about it. I'm not good at rapid fire there. I'm right here. Yeah. I'm right You're here. You're already here. Um, you do social media. You, yes. What, you, which platform do you use the most? Uh, Twitter. I like Twitter a lot. I keep up with a lot of writers and things like that. Good information. And then Facebook's more like networking. Sure, yeah. sure. Uh, what are... Uh, Three phone apps you could not live without besides texting, phone, and email. Um, t Twitter is one that I have to fast from because I can get I'm on it too much, and then I'm terrible at knowing street names, so I would need to know <laughs> GPS. Uh, I've lived in places well, for a long time. Woodlands Hills it. is getting new streets all the time. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, and they're all named the same thing, which is confusing. And a third one, what do I use all the time? Um, probably, I'm, I'm like addicted to Spotify too. Always okay. have Spotify. On. Okay. Yeah. Uh, would you sing at a karaoke night? No, I hate karaoke. Okay. Would you uh, have a, a five minute set if you could do stand up? I often dreamed about being a comedian. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. My uh, Gene has always said that I should have been on SNL. Yes, I wish I could um, do that. Yeah. Would you rather have a fast forward, a pause, or a rewind button on your life? Um, I think that my true answer would be fast forward, but I think that's kind of sad, so I'll yeah. just say that. <laughs> what would you fast forward to? What would you like to see? Um, I think there are, there's just hard seasons of life right now where I'd be like, let's just get past this. And and that's, that's not a healthy thing I'm proud of, but like, let's get on to the next thing. If you thing. haven't seen Click with yes. Adam Sandler, yeah. it's a powerful movie. Yes. Um, makes me, even in the tough times, yeah. be able to deal with kids and... But I think the pause, the pause is a good button. I think the pause is a good button. Rewind, I don't think I would do that. <laughs> All right, let's end of round one. Let's take a sip of coffee. Sweet. This is our, our new Life Better Together mug. Get yours today. Round two. What's your church history? Church history. We heard your uh, message uh, about uh, you know growing up in the growing up in the church, yeah, but coming to faith late. But have you yeah. always been a Methodist? What denominations have you been a part of? Grew up in the Methodist church. Always been a Methodist. When I came to faith, I asked my family, "Why are we Methodist?" And they couldn't answer it. So that sent me on a journey to say, "Am, am I Methodist? Should I be Methodist?" Yeah. And then that was affirmed for me in seminary and with some mentors, uh, with early Methodist leaders. And then since then, I've been serving the Methodist Church. Great. Yep. Uh, what's your favorite book of the Bible? Favorite book of the Bible? Uh, let's do New Testament is probably, right now it's Colossians. And Old Testament, I love the book of Judges because everybody's afraid ask, of that book. I didn't book. ask you for two. Yeah, well, I'm... <laughs> I love Judges as well. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite worship song or hymn? Um, favorite hymn, Come Thou Fount. Mm. Uh, let's go with that. Okay. Yeah. That's my favorite. One of my favorites. I also like uh, uh, hymn 606, which is uh, uh, Come Let Us Use the Grace Divine. Oh, yeah. We used to we used to sing it at the Wesley Foundation in college. You can it has a very strange minor tune, uh, but you can also sing it to the tune of America the Beautiful, oh, which wow, I found I to not. be very weird. Yeah, I bet uh, that is weird. Um, so, which character in the Bible do you most identify with? Definitely Peter. I'm quick to speak sometimes, uh, high energy, want to be right, and so good and bad. Uh, I yeah. You fish. Uh, no, I don't fish. Yeah, I don't think he did very well at that either. No. Uh, John Wesley talks about the means of grace. It's how we connect to God. Mm -hmm. What are your go-to means of grace? How do you how do you grow in your relationship with God? Um, I I love Holy Communion and anytime we can gather together and go to that place. My my life was radically shaped by sacramental experience in seminary, and then the other one would be prayer. And. Uh, you have a, one question you would like to ask God? 
Uh, why do we have mosquitoes? That's good. And uh, tell about your call to ministry. How'd you know you wanted to be a pastor? Um, I started off in student ministry. I felt a draw to be involved in ministry because I I really felt like part of my story could help other people. Yeah. Um, and then when I got involved in student ministry, I realized I wasn't very good at it and I was better with adults. And so um, started to explore that. And then there was a point where I was like, I don't think I can do anything else other than to serve the church, the local church and do pastoral ministry. That's great. Yeah. All right, time for round three. Let's have a sip of coffee here. All right, let's start, talk local. What do you love about being a Methodist? Um, I love I love the the Methodist heritage, um, and when I talk about that, I love the theology of Methodism um, helped me to understand Christianity in a way that was pretty unique. Um, means of grace we've already talked about, um, and the discipline of the church. I think it it the discipline of the church helps for revival and movements to happen. So I love the Methodist heritage. What do you love about FMC so far? Uh, man, the first impression was this church is so hospitable. I mean, it was incredible. I got, I had the chance to be here a month before I started and kind of be anonymous. And everyone was so, without knowing who I was, a lot of people were like talking to me for five minutes. And then I would say, by the way, I'm the new pastor. Yeah. And they're like, oh, <laughs> so, it was good. Uh, what does life better together mean to you? Um, I, I believe that the Spirit empowers and lives with each of us individually, but I think there's something very specific, radical, and unique about the Spirit dwelling with community. And so when we're doing life together, um, it's not just like a, a copacetic life is a little bit better. It's This is truly what we are made to be in, in community with one another. And what one thing do you hope for every person at First Methodist Conroe? I hope that you can find life better together and particularly in community where you can uh, be vulnerable enough to show your insecurities and struggles and difficulties with others so that you might experience the healing grace of Christ at work in community. It's really hard to do in relationship. It takes some work, but um, I hope everyone can experience what God can do in small groups and, and in community. And we're so thrilled about uh, John Wayne and his ministry here and the incredibly unique and amazing opportunity that this congregation has to start a new worship community. And uh, we have a, uh, a special, we saw this in the paper the other week, uh, on the Courier, new church to be built with this picture. Um, we had to have an image. This is not what the church is looking like. Yeah. We don't have a building. <laughs> we haven't even started gathering people yet. Um, but. What's this about? Why are you doing this? Why are you excited about it? Um, I, I've, in my ministry, I have, I've, God has revealed a why to me. Why do I do this? And why am I, why do I show up every day? And why church ministry? And that why is to help people to awaken to what God is doing and can do in their lives to bring love, joy, hope, and peace. And I believe that happens in the church pew. Uh, I was saved being a Christian and a lifelong Methodist. And so I believe that happens within the church, but definitely out in the world. And my story is painted by the local church coming to me while I was lost. And so I really want to do that. I want to be a part of a community that that is a primary focus. Awesome. Yep. All right. Well, this has been uh, Church Folk in the Cafe getting coffee, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers. Nice. Because I'm supposed to be doing Fit by 40. Huh? That's been my thing for like the last year, because I only have, but I only have three months left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the days are counting down. Well, Fit's re relative. That's my Peloton. Fit is, fit's a relative term. I'm on, I have two different hashtag groups on my Peloton. One is Fit by 40, and I got Peloton pastors, but I also have Dad bod to God bod. <laughs>